Do you ever feel like you're addicted to something but can't quite name it? It's not love, it's not stress, it's not carbs, it's sugar. The legal white powder that's hijacking your brain, tanking your energy, inflaming your insides, and seducing your cells with one glucose spike at a time. And no, it's not your fault. Sugar has been biochemically designed to make you crave, binge, and burn out. Sugar is the new cocaine. Let's break it down. When you consume sugar, whether it's in the form of fizzy drink, I love Coke Zero, granola bar, or natural honey, your body releases insulin, a hormone that acts like a key, unlocking your cells to absorb sugar or glucose from the bloodstream and convert it into energy. But here's the plot twist. Constant bombardment with high levels of sugar especially from ultra-processed foods or artificial sweeteners like aspartame, desensitizes your insulin receptors. This is insulin resistance, a metabolic dysfunction where glucose no longer enters your cells efficiently and instead floats freely in your blood, damaging tissues, overworking your pancreas and triggering systemic inflammation. Over time, this sets a domino effect. Weight gain, cellular inflammation, mitochondrial burnout, brain fog, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, PCOS, cardiovascular disease and even some cancers. And the real kicker? Your brain's reward circuitry, dopamine pathways, responds to sugar like it does to cocaine, except it's cheaper, legal, and available 24-7. Sugar is the primary inflammatory driver, and signs and symptoms that you're in sugar spiral include brain fog, joint pain, skin breakouts, fatigue, low mood and anxiety, gut issues like bloating, or constipation, hormonal issues such as PMS, irregular periods, or even infertility, poor sleep, decreased libido, infertility, frequent infections, not just about weight, it's about the body's biological burnout. The food industry isn't regulated like medicine. Sugar is hidden in over 70% of packaged foods. And while pharmacological interventions like GLP-1 agonists are helping patients control insulin surges, misuse or poor cycling leads to hormonal suppression and rebound weight gain. In our approach, we integrate a three-tiered metabolic reset. Clinical diagnostics, blood sugar mapping, hormone profiling, continuous glucose monitoring, neurometabolic biohacking, things like red light therapy, IV ozone, IV laser, cryotherapy, all things that enhance insulin sensitivity, and metabolic optimization, with things like peptides, for example, AOD9604 or MOTC. And then don't forget, there's also GLP-1 and GLP analogs, such as the Gobi, Zempic, and Zoro, which stimulate insulin, slow gastric entry, and decrease appetite. And then on top of this, we can also use hormonal optimization. We can balance testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, DHEA, and of course, cortisol. Things you can do at home include 21 day sugar fast, protein first with your meal, intermittent fasting to restore autophagy, sleep reset, even one bad night drops insulin sensitivity by 30%. Emergent research is reframing sugar not just as a metabolic issue, but a neurodegenerative accelerator. Sugar disrupts BDNF, brain derived neurotrophic factor, the molecule that helps you grow new brain cells, and in short, sugar makes your brain dumber, inflamed, and older. Sugar may be the new cocaine, but with us, we're rewriting addicts into architects of their own biology. After all, sugar is the new cocaine, but with better branding.